You may be seated. Dear family and friends, we are gathered here today in the sight of God and in the presence of his people to witness the union of Matt and Mary Catherine in Christian marriage. Marriage is a holy estate given to us by God to fulfill us both as individuals and as a couple, to conform us as maturing believers in his son, Jesus Christ. Matt and Mary Catherine have decided that this beautiful place of worship, the sanctuary where they worship each and every Sunday, would provide the perfect place for them to commit their lives together as a couple. It was in the time of man's innocence that God instituted the estate of matrimony between the first man and the first woman. In marriage, God gave the first couple a taste of redemption for mankind, as marriage is a mysterious union between Christ and his bride, the church. It is into this holy matrimony of marriage that Matt and Mary Catherine have chosen to enter. At this point, I would like to ask, who gives their blessing for this woman to be married to this man? Unlike many couples, you did not know each other until your first date. Both, both of you knew about one another through mutual friends, particularly from your friendships here at church. And as any good man would do before he asked a girl out on a date, Matt stalked you on Facebook, Mary Catherine. <laughs> and he told me that he was so relieved that as he stalked through the pictures, he did not see many pictures with a significant other in them. So Matt, in something that is unlike your personality, according to Mary Catherine, you just spontaneously called her out of the blue and asked her on a date. While you are not a man of many risks, this was by far the best risk that you have ever taken. But then it was Mary Catherine's turn to investigate you. So she went over to Chris and Amy's house and asked for their unfiltered opinion of you. And after hearing about your kindness, your passion for the Lord, and the way that you selflessly lead in the church, she decided to accept the date. You both said that you were falling in love with one another pretty early on in your relationship. Mary Catherine Matt said that the night that the two of you drove to Decatur to meet my family was the night that he knew that he was falling in love with you. As you answered the intentional questions during the ride to Decatur that he just placed in a jar, he said he'll never forget how much fun it was to just be with you and laugh with you. This was his quote, Blake, Mary Catherine is incredible, and I just love spending time with her whenever possible. And then I love this next line, she makes even the boring things fun. <laughs> when he saw how you interacted with Noah and Anna Reese, he knew that you were someone special. By the way, Lindsay and I were thrilled that your relationship remained after leaving our zoo, and so we were thankful for that. Matt, Mary Catherine said the way that you pursued her and your intentionality is what caused her to fall in love with you. She loved that getting to know her family and those important in her life was important to you. You also introduced her to people in your life that you value. Mary Catherine told me, Blake, I can't even count how many thoughtful things I've seen Matt do with his time, with the gifts that he gives, and the way that he shows me that he loves me. Matt, I hope that you will spend the rest of your life showing her how much you love and value her every day of your married life. When I asked both of you what is attractive about your future spouse's relationship with Christ, the incredible thing is you both gave the exact same answer, <laughs> the way you see each other serve others. How incredible is that? I've always said that we are more like Jesus when we are serving others than at any point of our life. Mary Catherine Matt told me that the way that you serve by teaching Sunday school, by volunteering to help with DNL, the way you invest in other girls by discipling them, the way that you serve your coworkers, your friends, and your family members, it reveals to him what is most important in your life, living a life that brings honor to God. Matt told me this about you. Mary Catherine wants to live in a way that honors Christ. She is always looking for what is best for others. And then 
you are willing to serve them no matter what the cost is to you personally. Matt and Mary Catherine said that your love for Christ has been clearly displayed through your words and your actions. Listen to these words. Matt lives out Micah 6, 8 incredibly well. He acts justly, loves mercifully, and walks humbly with God. You have treated her with gentleness, just like an expensive, precious teacup. You have led your relationship by praying with and for one another. In fact, you both said that you have set a goal of praying together each night. And I can assure you that there is no marriage book, that there is no advice that anyone can give you that will make a greater impact on your marriage than praying with and for one another. It's the selfless, caring attitude that you have both displayed to one another that will help create a healthy marriage. I hope that both of you will wake up each and every morning with the desire to look for ways to meet each other's needs just as you have in your dating life. In marriage and in any relationship, it's easy to get transformed in what I call the me monster. When the spouse expects their other spouse to do everything to meet their own needs, to make them happy. It's all about me, me, me. But what would happen? What would be the result if every day you woke up and it was your goal to find a way to outserve your spouse? What would happen if your first, let's say, frustration, we're not going to say fight, was over the fact that you're outserving each other? See, I don't think it's ironic, but instead a divine appointment that we are standing here today, observing the two of you pledging your love and your devotion to one another. As excited as the two of you are to begin your life together today, I want you to know how amazing it has been For those of us who love both of you individually, to watch and see God's unfolding plan and his story play out in your life. You have both been patient and waiting for God's best for your life. And look how God has rewarded both of you. Individually, you have both made an incredible impact already on the kingdom of God. And I cannot wait to see what he is going to do as he joins the two of you together. It's obvious that God has had his hand on your relationship, and I'm excited to see how he guides you as you humbly allow him to lead you individually and as a couple. You see, this story, and today it's not about Matt and Mary Catherine, and I know that may sound strange to hear on your wedding day, but it's true. Your story is a picture, it's a testimony of God and his faithfulness. Neither of you are here today, this evening, wanting people to look at you and say, look what we have done. But instead, you've told me it's your desire for people to say, wow, look what God has done. So today we worship our Savior and we thank him for the gift of marriage between two of who I believe are some of his finest servants I've ever met. At this time, Abby Rigg is going to come and read a passage of scripture that we are praying over Matt and Mary Catherine's marriage. Ephesians 3, 14 through 21 says, For this reason I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth desires its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. At this time, I'd like to invite you to turn and to hold each other's hands as we have the exchanging of vows. Matt, I'll start with you. You repeat after me. I, Matthew Keith Galloway, Galloway. take you, Mary Catherine Bryant, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward 
for better or for worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish you, to honor you as long as we both shall live. Mary Catherine, I'll ask you to repeat after me. I, Mary Catherine Bryant, I, Mary Catherine Bryant take you, Matthew Keith Galloway, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish you, to honor and encourage you, as long as we both shall live. The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual commitment signifying to the world the, the union that both of you have taken in marriage. Matt, at this time, if you'll take Mary Catherine's ring from your brother, place it on her ring finger, and repeat after me, with this ring, with this ring I thee wed, I thee wed as, a token of my love for you, as a token of my love for you, in the name of the Father, name of the Father and of the Son, and of the, Son and, of the and of the Holy Spirit. Mary Catherine, you can take Matt's ring from your sister, place it on Matt's ring finger, and repeat after me, with this ring, I thee, wed, I thee wed, as a token of my love for you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today is a day that not just only do we have Matt and Mary Catherine joining their lives together, but their families are joining together as well. So at this time, I'd like to invite both, both Matt and Mary Catherine's family to join us as they pray over them in their marriage. And for the rest of us in the congregation and those that are in the wedding party, I would encourage you to pray for their marriage, to pray for God's protection, that he would continue to provide leadership and guidance in their life. Matt and Mary Catherine, it's my prayer that the Lord will bless you and keep you. 
that the Lord will make his face to shine on both of you and that he'll be gracious to you. I pray that the Lord turns his face toward you and that he will always give you peace. Together as family and friends, we have witnessed the pledging of your love and commitment to each other. We have seen the sealing of your solemn vows of marriage by giving and receiving of rings. It is therefore my joy and privilege to declare you husband and wife. Matt, you may kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Keith Galloway.
Matt and Mary Catherine wanted me to let you know that if you're unable to attend the reception, that they will be in the main foyer over there by the wooden wall for a few moments if you'd like to visit with them. I hope that you have a great rest of your evening. You're dismissed.